Good morning and welcome to the Kill Co Market Update. It's been another week of ups and downs for the market, but as it happens at the moment, we are on track to finish the week pretty much where we started. It's been a particularly volatile week for the oil and banking sectors, and this tends to have a knock-on effect on the FTSE 100 because these sectors make up such a big part of the FTSE 100 index. As you can see by this chart here, the oil sector makes up about 13.7% of the index and the banking sector makes up about 9.4%. So let's start with the banking sector. It's been a very negative week for banking stocks on the news that the regulator has effectively stepped in and forced banks to cut their dividends for 2019 and 2020. So this includes dividends for HSBC, Lloyds, RBS, Barclays and Standard Chartered. Effectively, all in all, about £7.5 billion pounds worth of dividends have been cancelled. Now, apparently the regulator first asked the banks to cancel these dividends voluntarily. However, the banks protested quite heavily at this. They said that A, they could afford to make these payments, and B, that if they were to cancel them voluntarily, they would face legal action and major protests from shareholders. So following that, the regulator actually stepped in and effectively forced these banks to cut their dividends. Now, arguably at such a time of economic uncertainty, it is a good thing for the banks to hold back some cash and to shore up their balance sheets. However, thousands of income investors all around the world rely on these bank dividends for their day-to-day -day income. So this decision by the regulator is going to cause problems for a huge number of people. And after the announcement that these dividends were going to be cut, we did see a fairly major sell-off in the shares of these banks. If you have a look here at this chart showing the UK FTSE 350 banking index, now this chart is indexed so it shows the fall from 100% that has happened over the last year. You can see this index has fallen by 40% over the last 12 months, so really quite a big move here, despite the fact that these dividend cuts are hoped to be temporary. It's also been a fairly volatile week for oil. Over the last couple of weeks, we've talked about the fact that the oil price has fallen quite heavily due to the fact that demand has fallen because of these factories are closed and also the fact that supply has increased because Saudi Arabia and Russia are trying to take market share. So that's why we've seen such a big fall in the oil price over the last few weeks. However, this week, Donald Trump made some comments that he thinks Russia and Saudi Arabia are quite close to agreeing a deal to restrict the supply of oil. And just those comments alone pushed up the price of Brent crude by more than 20% in just one day. Now that really is a huge move for such a major commodity to make in such a short space of time. So this move higher in the oil price is clearly good news for the oil majors such as BP and Shell, and therefore this week we have seen the shares of those companies move moving higher. And finally this week, some news from one company that's doing well from this coronavirus outbreak. Abbott Laboratories, a major US healthcare company, has announced that it has received fast-track FDA approval for a new coronavirus test that works in just five minutes. And Abbott is hoping to scale up production of these tests to 50,000 units per day. And this ties in quite well with government plans all around the world to really scale up the amount of coronavirus testing that they're doing. The UK, for example, has announced this week that it would like to start testing at least 100,000 people per day. And that's quite an ambitious target, bearing in mind that in total so far, the UK has not yet tested 100,000 people. So good news here for Abbott Laboratories. Please do give us a call if you would like to talk about Abbott Laboratories in a bit more detail. Moving on to the week ahead, we've got results out from Tesco, but more importantly, it is the start of a new tax year, so time to start subscribing to your ISAs, contributing to your pensions for the new tax year. So please do give us a call if you would like to talk about how to begin the new tax year. That's it from us. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.